Okay, chat. It's the Star Wars movie rankings tier list. Yes, this I've I've got the local recording on. We're ready. We're ready to go. Here it is. It's the rankings tier list. Let's let's just let's just look at what we've got here. All right, we've got we got as many shows as there are plus plus uh the the movies. Looks good. Looks good. I'll, okay, I'm into it. I'm into it. Um. All right. Well, let's just start from the start from the top, shall we? I mean, a new hope. A new hope. I feel like a new hope is, you know, like the entire the entire franchise like rests on rests on a new hope, but I don't think it's the best one. So I think it's A tier. You know what I mean? I think it's A tier. I think it's A tier. I think it is I think it is good. And I've watched it many, many times, but I think it is A tier. I do not think it is S tier. Don't think it's good enough to be S tier. I don't. I don't think it's good enough to be S tier. Uh, Empire Strikes Back. Empire Strikes Back. I mean, this is this is this is the the goat, right? For a lot of people, this is the goat for a lot of people. The Empire Strikes Back. My problem with the Empire Strikes Back, okay? The pr my problem with the Empire Strikes Back is that 50% of the movie is Mark Hamill talks to puppets. And uh, I don't know that it's S tier either. I don't know that it's S tier either in my mind. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It drags. The middle of Empire is terrible. The front of it is great. The back of it is great. But the middle is so long. It's so long and boring and I don't care. You know, like, ugh. Ugh. It's hard to judge because I don't think, I think it's, I think it's actually A tier but behind A New Hope. I like A New Hope better. I like A New Hope better as a movie. As a whole movie, I like A New Hope better. As a whole movie, I like A New Hope better. Empire is very, very good, but I don't think it's as good as A New Hope. I know, we're getting contentious already. People are already going to be upset. People are already going to be upset. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Return of the Jedi? Uh, okay. Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi for me is the goat. Return of the Jedi is S tier. Return of the Jedi is a, a masterpiece. I love it. I love it so much. I love it so much. It's my favorite one. Of the classic three, it is far and away my favorite. The Emperor. The Emperor is such a good character. The em like, and all of that is like real good. That last confrontation is super great. Um, I love the forest of endor stuff i'm a big fan you know of endor um e i people don't like the ewoks but i don't hate them i i think they're so minor as to be as to be like as to be like not that big a deal to be honest right like people don't like you know people don't like the ewoks but i you know i'm i'm ambivalent I'm ambivalent to the Ewoks. I think they're, you know, I think they're 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 fine. They're an alien, they're a little alien civilization. They're fine. I like them. But like this is the movie that gives us there's some good in you. Darth Vader picking the emperor up and throwing him over a balcony to save Luke's life. How can that not be the S tier movie? How can how can it not be? How can the it, Come on. Come on. It's the one. It's the S tier movie. Anyway, I get that people may not agree with me. All right, episode one. Episode one. So, episode one. Episode one was the first Star Wars movie that I saw in theaters as a kid. As a kid, I was so excited. I was so excited to see episode one. So excited. I was 10 years old. 
And I remember vividly, I remember vividly sitting before episode one go started and being like, Dad, I'm too excited. I'm so excited. Do you think I have time to like run to the bathroom and like come back before the movie starts? I'm like, I was like, I'm a I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm like, I've been a Star Wars fan my entire life, all the way since I was a little tiny little kid, you know, like way back. And uh yeah, I mean, I, I have nostalgia for it, right? It's not a movie I rewatch that often because, yeah, it's not that great. But I have, I have very strong nostalgia for, for the Empire Strike, uh, for uh, Episode One. Um, B tier. I I consider it B tier. I think it's B tier. It's not as good as any of the original trilogy. But it's got Duel of the Motherfucking Fates. It's got pod racing. It's got, uh, I don't know. It's got all kinds of good shit. It's real good. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's B tier. I love it. I love it. But I think it's B tier. All right. It's got the Trade Federation. It's got the Battle Droids. I mean, it has Jar Jar Binks, which is a huge negative, but, you know, such is life. Um, yeah, when Darth Maul lights that other side of his lightsaber, holy shit, 10-year-old me was just, like, absolutely freaking out, like, crazy freaking out, all right? It's got, it's got the, this is getting out of head. It's got all, it's got tons of good memes, okay? It's a good meme movie, for sure. Um, all right. All right. It has droid decals. <laughs> yes. Um, episode two. Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. Uh, Attack of the Clones. Um. 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 On one hand... On one hand, Attack of the Clones has Count Dooku. On the other hand, Attack of the Clones is relentlessly terrible in all of its dialogue, basically across the board. Anything that Anakin does in this movie sucks the big one. Anything that Obi-Wan does in this movie is cool as fuck okay and that's just that's just how the movie goes it's like this polarized like whiplash ass movie and i like i don't know i don't know where to where to put it you know i don't know where to put where to put it um like i think it's i want to say it's c tier you know, I want to say it's C tier. I think it's probably C tier, which is higher than some people would rank it because I think it is good. I just I don't think it's bottom bottom of the barrel garbage, but I, I don't think it's very good. And I'm I'm distributing these a little bit, and we can remove them around when we add other stuff in and we like look for places where it's good. It's either C tier or like low B tier. It's like C or like very low B. You know, I think. I think it's like C or like very low B tier. I think it's like where I where I feel. You know what? We'll go low B tier. I think that's I think that's that's fair. I think that's fair. No, 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 no. It's C tier. It's C tier. I'm not going to I'm not going to get you guys. I'm not going to let you guys influence me. It's C tier. It's C tier. It is C tier. It's C tier. All right. Uh I'm not going to let you guys change my mind. Um, let's see. Our, oh, oh, Revenge of the Sith. All right, let's go. Finally, some contention. Let's go. Revenge of the Sith. People either adore this movie or hate it. It's guts. They either, they either think it's the best one or it's like literally the worst pile of garbage ever. Right? Some, some real contention. Some real contention with this one. Um... Let's see. Let's see. I think I might 
I think I might make an enemy of some of you with this one. <laughs> I think I might make an enemy of some of you with this one. But my edgy heart cries out for Anakin's fall to the dark side and you know all of the all of the great the great stuff that happens in in Revenge of the Sith. I I you know I'm uh, <sighs> It's cheesy. It's so cheesy. It's so cheesy. But it's 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 like almost like so cheesy as to be camp. You know what I mean? Like it's it's it's, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I think it edges out empire for me. I think it edges out empire. I think it's A tier and it edges out empire. I think it's just slightly better. Just a, just a little, just a tiny little bit. Just a tiny little bit. God, the scene, the fucking Imperial March, like, playing, the Anakin fucking walking into the temple with all the clone troopers, you know, Bail Organa showing up, and then the clones being like, no, no, the Jedi rebelled, you better fuck off, you know, and, like, like the, the kid coming out and, like, fighting, and, you know, they're being like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm out of here. Come on, come on, so good, so good. Google's how to unsubscribe from a Twitch channel. <laughs> yes, yes. Don't take look. Don't take my don't take my Star Wars uh, rankings as a personal slight against you. All right, but it's not what they are. They're just how I feel about the movies. Uh Force Awakens. Force Awakens is a C tier movie that I think is somewhere down here. I didn't like it very much. It's too much the same thing as A New Hope. It's good, but it's just modern A New Hope, right? Like, I I think it's I think it's here. I think it's down here, right? In in C tier, it's below Attack of the Clones because at least Attack of the Clones has like a unique thought in its brain. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> But it, it beats D tier because I like Kylo Ren and and uh and um Adam Driver can get it, you know. I I I feel like I you know, I, I don't know. I'm a Kylo Ren apologist. I, I like I like him. <sighs> uh alright, let's see. Let's see what else. Uh alright. Oh, the last Jedi. Okay, The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. I mean, to be honest, The Force Awakens is carried on the back of 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 my boy Kylo Ren grabbing a laser bolt out of the goddamn air and holding it there in that first scene. Come on. Come on. What a chad. All right, anyway. Uh I think The Last Jedi is B tier above episode 1. The Last Jedi is B tier above Episode One. I think I think that's where it lives. I think that's where it lives. I think it's a good movie. It's a good movie, and it would be an excellent movie if Rise of Skywalker had literally anything to do with it. You know what I mean? Like, if if. If Rise of Skywalker followed through on any of the ideas from The Last Jedi, The Last Jedi would react re retroactively be a better movie. But because it's kind of stuck in this, like, it's supposed to be a transition transitionary movie in the story, and then the movie that follows it just ignores it, it it sort of suffers on its own, right? Like, it's it's its own movie is, suffers from that, right? So... I think I think that's, you know, and and like let's not forget that the last Jedi is the movie that gives us Luke Skywalker's like, you know, go ghost 
basically, like, f facing down an entire goddamn army of of the Empire and, like, then faking out a duel with Kylo Ren, which is just super cool. Super cool. Um... It's also the movie that gives us the 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 the, the Ky first Kylo Ren uh, uh Ray team up, you know? There's just there's there's a lot of good in there. I think we all forget that there's like good there's some good actiony shit that happens in the Last Jedi. Everybody's like, "Oh, the fucking the fucking spaceship." Blah. But I can tell you that when I saw this in theaters, when Holdo fucking blew the shit out of that giant Star Destroyer with the hyperdrive, there's an audible gasp in the fucking silence that fills the, 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 you know, the room after that. And, like, the drama in it is so much cooler than the pedantic bullshit about it, to be honest. I, it's about the drama. Anyway. Uh, that, I think, is where it lives. That's where it lives. Uh, I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna argue with me that, like, Rise of Skywalker is at the bottom of this list. It is D tier. It is garbage. If I had an, an F, uh, an E, uh, a Q tier, I would probably put it there. It's the most disappointing Star Wars thing I've ever seen. And I literally got up to go to the bathroom while we were watching it because I just couldn't give, I couldn't give enough of a shit to, to stay and be uncomfortable through, through literally the climactic scene with the Emperor. I was like, I have to pee. I got up and I went to go, go to the bathroom while we were watching it in theaters. Cause I, I just, you know, I, I'm, I was I was fucking disappointed. <laughs> I was fucking disappointed. And I didn't know how to how to deal with that. So, you know. Yeah, the fake out Chewbacca death also sucked. Like if they had, if they had just stuck to that, maybe there would have been some drama there. I don't know. Um It's just a bad movie. Yeah, it's just a bad it's just a bad movie. Um, hmm. Okay, Rogue One. Rogue One is here for me. Rogue One is C tier. I find Rogue One to be very stupid and annoying, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not, it's not even, it's like, I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I, I don't like it. People really like it, but I just can't. <sighs> there are so many disjointed scenes. There are so many disjointed things happening. And then it, yeah, it, like, it would have been better as a TV show. And surprise, surprise, the TV show is fucking excellent. But. I really, 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 really don't like Rogue One. Not a fan. I just, I don't like it. There are some good things. K2SO, very cool. Uh, like, uh, my, uh, what do you call it? Like, the Darth Vader scene at the end, very cool. But th the thing about Rogue One, right, is that it, it... It's sort of just a pile of references... I want to like it, but I don't. Yeah. Like, it's a good movie for the universe, but it's not a good movie, right? Like, yeah. Like, there's a lot of information and cool stuff going on there, but I don't think the movie itself really has a movie in it, if you know what I mean. Like, I, yeah, the, I, the story of it, I, I don't care, really, that much, right? It's, it's all over the place. I like the characters. I like I like I like it in a vacuum, but I don't think it's very good, you know? Um All right. Well, that one I know would be contentious. I people don't people don't 
people don't agree with me on that one. There, there are some good things about it, but I don't think it beats Attack of the Clones. You know what I mean? I just, I just don't think it beats Attack of the Clones. I think Attack of the Clones is better. I'd rather watch Attack of the Clones. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> my other contentious, my other absolutely blazingly hot contentious, uh, uh, take. Solo. All right. Solo. Solo is A tier. Bottom A tier. Solo is bottom A tier. Solo is a good ass movie. It's it's maybe beaten out by like the classics. It's maybe beaten out by Revenge of the Sith. But it's a good ass movie. It is so good. It's so good. It's all it's all good. I love it. I love it a lot. You've never watched it all the way through? Absolutely try and give it a shot if you and I mean unless you don't like it, in which case that's fine. But I am a big fan. I'm a big fan. I like it a lot. Big fan of, you know, people are saying, you know, in chat, like the casting, not so great. I kind of disagree. I liked, I liked it. I liked it. I mean, it's okay if you don't like it, right? But I think of it like a heist movie in space. I don't think of it like Han Solo's backstory. You know what I mean? I don't think of it like, too too dramatically that way, but it, it it finally takes the thing that I want from Star Wars, which is more isolated stories in the Star Wars universe that don't have to do with like Skywalker X or big character universe hinging pivot Y, and then does a movie with it. Right? It's it's Star Wars without the Jedi in it, and I love that so much. I'm a I'm a big fan. You know, they they could have just they could have just had the main character be like some other scoundrel, right? And then, like, Lando Calrissian, uh, you know, like, whole thing could have could have worked and, and, like, as a reference. And it, it kind of would have been better, I think. But as it is, it's A. Yeah. I think that's... I think that's where it is. I think that's where it is. Uh okay, on to on to the TV series. This is the the Siri, the series series. We have many many shows here to place them. Um let's see. Uh some easy ones. I mean, Clone Wars, like early Clone Wars, I think is probably like here. Mm, maybe here, like early Clone Wars. Ah, early Clone Wars is here. There's too much. There's too much trash in early Clone Wars. Okay, there's too much garbage. There's too much like kid kid stuff. And I get that it's like a show for a younger audience generally. But like, there's a lot of really good episodes. But I can't. I I can't. In good conscience. Give early Clone Wars a a pass, right? There's a a lot of good stuff in it, but there are a lot of episodes you just have to skip, and it hurts, right? Late Clone Wars, late Clone Wars is a banger, absolute absolute banger, absolute fucking. I would say almost S tier, definite watch, one hundred percent late Clone Wars. The 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 last season, the last like two seasons, uh, absolutely. Absolutely do it. Absolutely do it. I think it's S tier. I think it's an S tier TV series. I think the action in it is really, really good. I think it I think it's solid all the way through. The Mall Ahsoka fight, yeah, exactly. Right? Like shit like that. It's S tier. Um oh the the original Clone Wars. The original Clone Wars is uh is is uh I I I'm shocking, shockingly good. It's A tier. I love it. It's short. It doesn't it doesn't uh it doesn't overstay its welcome, but also I, I would kind of rate it more highly if there were more of it, right? Um it's great little like vignette stuff. It's amazing animation. It's it's beautiful. 
Uh, I think it's A. I think it's A. I think it's a, a rated A. Uh, let's see. Bad Batch. I can't really rate the Bad Batch honestly. I can't rate the Bad Batch honestly because I haven't watched it all. I haven't watched it all. But because I haven't watched it all, because I fucking hate the clones. I hate them so much. I, like, I just hate every main character in Bad Batch, and so I can't watch it. I just, I, I don't care about them. I've never cared about them. They're a shoehorned bonus extra feature of the Star Wars universe, and they can go into the D tier. I can't, I, like, it's very unlike me to not be able to watch a Star Wars thing, no matter its quality. Uh, and Bad Batch is just a thing that I, I got through, like, the first seven episodes, and after that, I could not. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I I hate every character. <laughs> there was nobody in the series where I was like, "Oh, that's my guy. That's my guy." All right, I'll I, you know I'll I'll watch to see what happens to I don't know this character who's like interesting. They're just they're all the same guy. You know what I mean? And and I yeah I'm it's not it it's not it for me. I don't think that's contentious. I don't know. I heard there's some Ventress stuff in the latest season, and, and like, that that in itself might get me through it. You know what I mean? But I, I don't, I don't like them. I'm not a fan. Uh, let's see. Rebels. Is there another Rebels thing on here? There's this. I don't know what this is. Uh, this looks like a rebels here. Maybe I don't know. Rebels. Um. Oh, it's Tales of the Jedi. Oh, okay, never mind. All right. Um. Rebels. Rebels is a hard one for me because I feel like there is some good stuff in there, but that generally it's for an audience that's younger than me. You know what I mean? Like, there's some good stuff in there, but, like, for me, I would say that, like, 75% of the show is, like, not for me. You know what I mean? It's for It's for a younger audience than me. Um... I think Rebels is probably like low B tier. There's some good stuff in there. It gives us the first Inquisitors, but it also makes them look stupid. Um, and there's some Darth Maul stuff, which are which raises its profile for me right away. The Darth Maul stuff in it is good. Uh, the Obi Wan Darth Maul confrontation is like on its own sells the series as a thing. You should at least watch that. Um, Thrawn is in it. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Rebel said, yeah, Rebels does have one of the better Vader quotes for sure. Yeah, but I don't fear you. Then you will die braver than most. Yeah, it's pretty fucking good. It's pretty fucking good. Um... Yeah, I think I think low B tier feels correct to me. I'm matching it up against all this other stuff. I don't know what this one is. Forces of for, forces of de faces of forces of destiny. I don't know what this is. I assume this is something that is not for for me. So I d I don't know what it is. I can't rate it. Um, Mandalorian. The Mandalorian is a little bit of a tragedy for me. It's a little bit of a tragedy for me because I actually think the Mandalorian would rate higher if there was less of it. Is that is that terrible to say? Is that is that is that bad of me to say? Like I think they they fucking rode that series into its grave. Like the first season was really good. The second season was worse. The third season was worse. And it just got worse. You know what I mean? It it was like it, it just it got worse. 
right? Like, it, it, it died a sad death at the end of a season three, you know? Like, it didn't feel... It didn't feel like it earned anything it went for after the first season, in in my opinion. Um, I would rate it higher than Rebels, but but still like mid, still like B, you know. Um, generally, I think. I'm also like an anti cute baby character person. I I like, I don't care about cute baby, so like. Grogu has no effect on me whatsoever. <laughs> They're more annoying than they are helpful to the narrative in my, you know, in my experience. Uh, let's see. Uh, visions. Um. I mean, Visions is widely variable, but I love it. I love basically all of it, except for, like, a, one couple of episodes. I think it's S tier. I love this kind of shit. I love seeing multiple creators take a fucking swing. I think Visions is S tier. If you haven't watched Visions stuff, get on it. Um, I, I re My favorite one, if I had to pick a single Visions episode that was my favorite, I think it's Screecher's Reach in Season 2. I think that's my favorite one. I mean, Screechers Reach is my favorite episode um, of all the Vision stuff. Uh, I really, really, really like that. Uh, and yeah, so there you go. Visions, Visions is hard to rate because it's it's variable, right? It's it's like million, like a billion different creators doing different stuff. Um, some of it is ridiculous. Some of it is great. Some of it is ridiculous, some of it is great. And that's just how it goes. Um uh, Book of Boba Fett. Book of Boba Fett. Alright. Book of Boba Fett. You know what? You know what, Book of Boba Fett? I liked you. I did. I liked you. I I hated that the Mandalorian stepped on you and so you're going you're ranking higher than the mandalorian i think you're still kind of mid but i liked you so much until you were the mandalorian and then you were the mandalorian so shame shame they couldn't just make season three of the mandalorian set a separate goddamn thing to book a boba fett i feel like if you just given more Boba Fett, more Tamura Morrison time to breathe in that series, it, it we'd all have been better for it. We'd all have been better for it. So, yeah. I mean, there you go. Uh, hmm, let's see. Uh, I haven't watched Resistance. Again, it's sort of rated for a younger audience than me, and I can't really get into it. So I haven't watched it. Um Obi-Wan Kenobi. Kenobi series. Kenobi series. Uh Kenobi. You know what? I'm gonna give Kenobi a top billing B tier. I'm giving Kenobi a top billing B tier because I actually really, really enjoyed Kenobi. It's still kind of middle of the road but it's top middle of the road. You know what I mean? I think it's I think it's in there in the middle somewhere. Um It's it's easy watching, uh but also you get like a little bit of that like Obi-Wan like trauma. You get uh our like inquisitor stuff going on. You know, I and I, I like the, the the Vader shit near the end of Obi Wan is so, or the near the end of Kenobi is so good. Like Vader just like casually non lightsaber owning, uh, the Inquisitor lady and like grabbing a goddamn ship out of the sky and pulling it down. Like, ah, oh, yes, let's go. You know. Uh, so, I think that, I think that's, 
It's fine. You know? Good. Uh, Andor is the highest rated best Star Wars thing that currently exists. If you haven't watched Andor, you are doing yourself a disservice. Watch Andor. It is the best Star Wars media that currently exists. Nothing is better. No movie, no TV show. Andor is the best Star Wars media that currently exists. Uh, okay. Uh, Tales of the Jedi is only slightly better slop garbage than the other stuff down here. I was not impressed by it. I did not care. It did not shock me. It was a show I watched and have forgotten everything about. Don't care. Don't, it's, who cares? I don't. Uh, I would say the exact same on this. I would say the exact same on this for the newest one as well. Tales of the Empire. I was fucking disappointed by Tales of the Empire. I was promised Empire Tales, and I got good guy shit again. Every single time I'm promised bad guy shit, I get good guy shit. Give me the bad guy shit. Come on. Ugh. Every single time I get bait and switched by some some wannabe good guy stuff annoys me. They're like, oh, this is bad guy stories. And then it's like, oh, no, they turned to the good side again. Oh, God, it's so cool. Oh, great. No. Bad. Give me the stories you're saying you're going to give me. The turns are unearned. The turns are unearned. Yeah, but the problem that I literally forgot that that was a story that was part of this is part of the problem, guys. Night Sister becoming fascist tycoon. I literally forgot that even happens in Tales of the Empire because I was so fucking annoyed by the other half of it. I literally forgot. The Elspeth was like one of the two lead characters of that entire thing. Because who gives a fuck? Like it, it they did it so poorly. It's so it's so bad. It's it's very saddening to me. Anyway. I mean, you wanna see good Empire stuff? My boy up here, Andor, the the current top billing, best goddamn series, best Star Wars anything. Good Empire stuff. It exists. It's right here. The monotony of evil. Okay? Alright. Last but not least, we've got Ahsoka. Oh, Ahsoka. Oh, you poor misguided baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this series. I am. I like I had high hopes. Live action Thrawn, badass. Live action Ahsoka, you know, like her own thing, kind of badass. I really really wanted to like it. I really wanted to like it. I really did. I wanted to like it a lot. Um, and I did like some of it. It was not it was not a nothing series. It was not it was not bad bad. But it was really slow. It was difficult to watch in some parts. And you know, hot take, I don't care about the Rebels characters. I mean, as as noted by my like billing of Rebels being like aggressively low mid-tier. So, like, what's her name? I can't even remember her name. Uh kind of annoyed me. But then, like, Balin Skull and Shin Hati were super cool. Um, and, and like, uh, Elspeth was badass. I love Mia Night Sister, generally. I thought she did pretty well in this one. Um, what else? 
Uh, yeah, I like the central premise of like rescue the other dude from alternate galaxy place and bring him back. I I don't really care about that. It felt like the show should have been like Rebels season five rather than rather than um. Like, Ahsoka. You know what I mean. Uh, I think it's probably, like, here for me. It's, like, just underneath the Mandalorian and, and the Book of Boba Fett, but above Rebels, because, yeah, I don't know. We got a nice little a curve going here as well, which I like. Feels Feels natural. Um, so there you go. There's my, my Star Wars movies and shows tier list. <laughs> That's what it looks like for me. I don't know if you guys agree. You probably don't. I know I have some contentious hot takes, but I'm a Star Wars fan through and through. There it is. In order, we have Andor, Return of the Jedi, Clone Wars series, like, like late Clone Wars series, um, Star Wars Visions, uh, then A New Hope, Revenge of the Sith, Empire Strike, Empire Strikes Back, Solo, and the original Clone Wars series in the A tier, the B tier, Obi Wan, or sorry, Kenobi, um, The Last Jedi, Episode One, Book of Boba Fett, Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and Rebels. C tier, we've got Attack of the Clones, Ro or Rogue One, um. I'm squinting. A New Hope. Or not A New Hope. Uh, basically A New Hope. Fucking Force Awakens. Uh, Clone Wars. Like early Clone Wars. Um, D tier. Tales of the Jedi. Rise of Skywalker. And The Bad Batch. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. That's what it be.